So you're thinking about moving to Palm Coast, Florida, but you want to know how expensive it is to live here? That's exactly what we're going to cover in today's video. If that sounds like something you're interested in, then stick around because we're going to get after it right now. Hi, my name is Stephanie Shulis with Real Broker. Thanks so much for joining us today. If it's your first time to the channel, please make sure to tap that button below to subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications so we can be the first to be notified every time we put out brand new content all about Palm Coast, Florida living and moving to Palm Coast, Florida and the surrounding areas. We get calls, texts, and emails from people just like you looking to make the move to Palm Coast every day. and We absolutely love it. So whether you're thinking of moving in the next nine days or 90 days, Give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we'll do everything we can to help you make a smooth move to Palm Coast, Florida. Today, I wanted to talk about how expensive it is to live here in Palm Coast in Flagler County. A new national report has ranked the Deltona, Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach area as the country's 10th least expensive place to raise a family. That's the good news. The bad news is that no housing market in the country is considered affordable for median income households, not even those on the 10 least expensive metro areas for families list, according to the same company that put out the ranking, which is the New York-based credit news research. The Deltona, Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach consists of all of Volusia and Flagler counties. So it's one metro area that uh, contains Volusia and Flagler counties. If you've seen some of my other videos, you may know that Palm Coast doesn't have its own news broadcast channel, things like that. We subscribe to the um, to the Deltona, Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach metro area. So the Deltona, Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach metro area was only one of two metro areas in all of Florida to make this 2024 10 least expensive list by Credit News. Lakeland Winter Haven was ranked the nation's fifth cheapest place to raise a family. The least expensive metros require families to earn between 87,000 and 97,000 annually. So with this report saying that the average family needs to be earning about 97,000 annually, that works out to an annual hourly range of $23.32 per parent. Single adults in Volusia Flagler need to earn at least $41,000 per year. The family income threshold is about 2.37 times that of a single adult, according to that report. The data used to compile the ranking came from Living Wage Institute the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and the Department of Labor Statistics Women's Bureau. So what's the actual annual household income here? In the median household income for Flagler County as of 2022, which is the latest, most recent the data shows, was $71,211. The median means half of the households had annual incomes higher and half had lower than that amount. So still a ways off from what this report is saying that families need to live comfortably. According to this report, unemployment remains low in both Flagler and Volusia counties. In Flagler, the unemployment rate as of April was 3.2%. The Median cost to buy a home in Flagler County was 379,000, which is an increase from 365, which is what it was last year. So overall, Flagler County is following the same trends that we're seeing across the country, where what people are making and what they're needing to live and affordability just are not checking out and lining up. However, overall, when compared to other metro areas across the nation, Flagler County and Volusia County, which make up the Deltona, Daytona Beach, Ormond Beach Metro, is considered in the top 10 least expensive places to live. 
I have another video that talks in detail about the cost of living here, talks um, what groceries are, what gas is, etc. So if you wanted to check that out, this would be a good time to hop over to that. If you have any questions about this report, I will include a link to the article in the comments, and you can always leave your own comment, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. We love hearing from you guys. That's it for this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.